So if there's one thing I've learned, you can have all you know the fancy technology, computers, survival gear, and all that stuff. Nothing's ever gonna replace a really good roll of duct tape. So The Martian is directed by Ridley Scott and stars Matt Damon as Mark Watney. So this movie is based off the book The Martian where astronaut Mark Watney is presumed dead and he's left behind on Mars. Now stranded and alone, he has to figure out a way to survive long enough on a planet where nothing grows and nothing's alive there um, and just you know, survive long enough for NASA to send a rescue mission out to get him. Now pretty much Everybody and their mother is calling this movie a cross between Apollo 13 and Castaway, and I can't argue with them. This is, that's probably the best description I can give you for this movie, and I'm not going to go against it if it doesn't do it, so I'm just, I'm just going to join the party and call this movie uh, Castaway meets Apollo 13. Now, I didn't read the book The Martians, so I didn't know what I was getting into, but it had a really good director behind it, so just for the fact that Ridley Scott was directing, I was pretty excited for this film and ah oh man th this film delivers on all fronts first of all I absolutely love the character of Mark Wanda he's you know he's funny he's smart and he has a really great outlook on pretty much everything that happens in this movie and it had a lot to do with Matt Damon's performance he is terrific in this film he had such a great performance especially for being alone for a better portion of this movie because he has a little bit of interaction with other actors at the beginning of the film but then for the you know basically for the rest of the film he's alone you've heard before acting is reacting and when you have nobody to react off of that's really hard for an actor and that comparison to Castaway because if Tom Hanks doesn't have Wilson in the film character doesn't work and Matt Damon's Wilson in this movie is his is a uh, astronaut log he's ta he's constantly talking to a camera and that's basically that's sort of how the movie's kind of narrated a little bit if he doesn't have anything to talk to his character doesn't work it's hard for an actor to do that just by talking to an inanimate object and Matt Damon brings his a game in this movie it's it's definitely one of his better performances in that I've seen in a while. And pretty much for his, his whole supporting cast, everybody from Jessica Chastain, Jeff Daniels, Tunnel Glover is in this movie for a little bit and he's really good at it too. Pretty much there wasn't really anybody in this film that I didn't like and I think that the, the casting and the performances from, the, from everybody else in this film was really good. And this movie was the right kind and the right amount of humor because none of the jokes in this film feel out of place and they feel very well timed and very well written. And and don't think this movie is all fun and games because this there's plenty of moments in this film where everything just goes completely wrong and you see Watney just break down in those moments and it's moments like that where Matt Damon just shines in his performance in this film and it's just awesome. And the writing in this movie is fantastic because if I didn't know any better and you told me this movie was based on true events. I would totally believe you because that's how good the writing is in this film. It's so believable. The science isn't too out there the, and the situations that Watney gets in are totally believable and that's just, that's just fantastic writing. The movie definitely gets A plus um, in that department. And the direction of this film is so great as well. Ridley Scott does a fantastic job in this film because I really love the moments where Ridley Scott is able to convey emotion for the character by, you know, an empty chair next to them or the sound of, you know, the Mars wind uh, hitting the, the, the outpost where Watney's character is. And it's just moments like that just really like, you don't, you don't need a character to say anything and you don't rely too much on the actor's performance. He just makes use of sound and the blocking of the scene to convey emotion. And I think this movie is a great example of how great of director Ridley Scott is. And I pretty much like everything about this film with the exception of one thing it's very minor i'm nitpicking at this point but um the way they handle like time in this film if you don't pay attention you can you can get lost pretty quickly because uh, they call it the cycles of the sun on mars they call them all souls if i'm correct and they put titles at the bottom of the screen so you can sort of follow along but and, and if you're not paying attention you're gonna you're gonna miss like what soul you're on because it goes from like you it might go from soul 105 to soul uh, 406 but that's a minor thing aside from that i absolutely love this film it's easily one of my favorites of the year and the martian definitely gets a f yeah oh yeah 
So The Martian, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Leave a comment below, tell me your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that like button below, help me out please. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, you can click right here and see more videos. Bye Andrew.